Good morning, guys. I'm going to Overland Expo to review my experience. I could get there in just three hours, but instead the plan is to drive the most adventurous route there, because I'm pretty sure that's what overlanders do. To get my feet wet, although hopefully not literally because I only packed one pair of socks, I'm starting on a baby trail called Fenwick Mines. We're climbing to roughly 2,000 feet in elevation to a scenic overlook at the peak. Now that is scenic. Oh, I'm thinking just have lunch in here and stay in the shade. Once we get off this trail, there's some historic bathhouses. Oh wow, big mug pit. Thankfully it's got a nice gravel base. So I'm hoping that we can get off the mountain in enough time to have a soak tonight before setting up camp. There's a bunch of cars pulling off up here. So I'm thinking that there's something to see up here. Let's check it out. That is actually a pretty impressive waterfall. Oh, right down there. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't lie. I am kind of a little nervous going in. I feel like we've been in the woods camping for far too long and this is kind of a bit of a posh place. We're gonna have to like look our best going in. All right, so no cameras were allowed in the bathhouse, you know, privacy and all, but my man Cliff gave me permission once everyone left so I could hook you guys up with the lowdown. In fact, Thomas Jefferson, the president of the United States, soaked here too and described it as first merit. Although I've got to be honest, I don't really know what that translates to in 2023 English. So I hop in at the edge of the pool to avoid three guys who are chilling in the middle and a current immediately starts pulling me into them. I try to fight it. I try swimming away. I reach for the bottom of the pool, but it is too deep. So I end up in the cluster of them desperately hanging onto the center pole so I don't float any closer. That's when these old guys ask me if I've tried the jet yet. My man Cliff, who's basically the bartender of the pool, not literally since there's no drinks allowed, but he kind of has the perfect bartender personality. Basically, just a really cool dude. Cliff offers to let the spillway rip wide open if I want to try the jet. So I hop down and, and give Cliff the thumbs up. He pulls the water gates open and dumps what must be thousands of gallons per minute of water jetting over me. I started losing my footing and got pushed closer and closer to this window and out towards the beautiful lawn of this establishment. At the last minute, Cliff slowed down the water and told me that I could hang out as long as I wanted. Cliff is my hero. That was so refreshing, guys. I highly recommend coming here. Hope you enjoyed. You're, I you're did. welcome back in any time. I hope you guys are ready to have the best burgers ever. It's getting dark really fast, so I'm going pretty lazy on these. Dumping the entire pound of meat down on the griddle, adding bacon, and topping it with some local barbecue sauce. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna chow down before it gets too dark. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, you guys. I'm headed back to the Blue Ridge Parkway to get on the Enchanted Creek Trail. Actually, I first got distracted by a payphone and decided to collect call my mom. Oh my gosh, there's a dial tone. Star two two. I'm gonna call my parents. They're connecting the call. Hey, it worked! I'm on a payphone. I learned another life skill how to do a collect call. You too, bye. <laughs> that was awesome. I can't believe that worked. A little bit. Ooh, that was a bad idea. Three one seven. Her. 
Mud really isn't my cup of tea, but sometimes that's the cost of entry for trails. And in those cases, I'd rather have fun than stay home. This trail would have been easy in my Jeep, but in a long truck like this, the rear wheels take an entirely different path than the front. It adds a whole nother level of challenge. Looks like we're going right through it because it's Blue Ridge Parkway up there. That is so cool. Okay. Oh well, yeah, I think we can fit. Just take it slow. That had to be the coolest. That was awesome. Climbing up here, guys. There's just more and more. Wowzers. Overland Expo is the kind of place where everyone's definition of the word overlanding varies. You know, where I show up in a truck covered in dirt from the long journey there and lay in a tent on the ground like a peasant, and then the neighbor rolls in with a 20-foot trailer, television blasting into the night. Oh, I did ride a motorcycle for the first time, which was really fun. So I have to add a star for that. Four out of 10, it's all right. 